<laughs> okay. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Oh, he's just he's just chilling there. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, I need please, you to track uh, down certain some more. people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. He doesn't find that sailors? fascinating. Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. The red light district? <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Hmm. Thank you. I'll be there shortly. Find the crew. Completed. Meet Inspector Lestrade at the Scotland Yard. Well, that's kind of cool. I can just put the task of finding the uh, the crew to somebody else. I'm not gonna complain about that. All right, talk to Lestrade. Is this him right here? Yes, sir. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. Mm. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Pray tell. Pray tell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, a fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Uh, do you have it? Uh, of course. It's in the evidence room, at your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, eh? Mm, breathtaking. Man, Sherlock Holmes just, at all times, looks like he's just... He has so much disdain for a time. I just, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Look at his belongings. These are the suspect's belongings. The boots. Liam Hurtley's old boots. They are a size nine and a half. Let's see if they fit uh, back at the crime scene. We can see if those will fit. Stained letter. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. And a pen. Nothing unusual about it. You sure? Nothing diabolical. Yeah, it's quite interesting, uh, Tony. It it just it just popped up on Xbox One, and I've been I haven't played any really kind of good point and click or any kind of like deducing kind of games. It's all been Evolve and Sunset Overdrive and Destiny. So I wanted to change a pace, something to try. <coughs> try out just to uh, get immersed into a story and try and solve some things. The cool thing about this game is that uh, on a per on a per case basis, the outcome, the ending of each case, from what I read at least online, uh, can go between six to ten different endings. Now I don't know how wide, how different those endings would be, but that's kind of a cool little thing. Okay, so let's compare those uh, boot that the new boots that I got. Let's compare them to the footprints over here, since we uh, we saw last time the person that got killed, his boots did not match up to this. So maybe this might help. Gotta click and drag. These boots match the footprints exactly. Yeah. So nine and a half. Okay, so investigate the murder still. Seems to be an unusual thief. In, uh, interrogate new suspect. Okay, so we're going to want to interrogate him. We have the boots now, so we can be bring that up in the conversation, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, the letter ceased from Hurtley. It is almost covered complete in ink stains. And we still have this. Find a use, it's telling us. I'm sure 
So I'm thinking actually before we interrogate, uh, we actually want to head back to Sherlock Holmes' place. Sure, he has some kind of lab cooked up or not that we can uh, analyze the ink that's on that piece of paper. Let's see if there's anything we can do with this piece of paper. It's here. Ah, see, look at that. Recover Hurley's letter. Hurtley's. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Uh, okay, so... Going to need to add the blue reagent from the looks of it. Okay. Do I... <laughs> It'll let me move it around like... Okay, there we go. That was kind of weird. Okay, so blue and... Question mark, question mark. Orange, orange, and clear, it says. So, all... There's... Yeah, okay. So, let's use green. Um, blue again? Sure, why not? Okay, and now we're wanna going to do orange. <sighs> Did I just fuck this up? Actually, I think I was reading this the wrong way. Let's find out, because it said a clear after an orange. So, orange again. And clear. I think I might have fucked this up. Done. Now I can proceed further. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. Do I just... Oh, okay. There we go. I think that is all the ink. Right? I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? But I beg you to reconsider. Remember our vows. I have done nothing dishonorable for which you me. Okay. There's an exclamation point on this one. Okay, so we have the letter has now been revealed. Oh, yeah, this. Uh, piece of the stock exchange certificate. Okay, so let's... You know, I think I can possibly examine. Maybe not. It's not giving me the My option. Archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Yeah, it's not giving me the option. So maybe I was reading more into that uh, certificate than I thought. And that's the one thing I do like about this game. There's, there's no hand-holding... Well... Okay, there is a bit, but not so much to the point that I'm not having to kind of scratch my head and wonder what next. Let's head back to Scotland Yard, and now let's actually question Hurtley, since we found out that his boots did match the footprints that were at the crime scene. We have this letter now that some of the uh, words are visible. I'm not too sure about the, cer uh, the certificate, though. Uh, it says that it should be a piece to a puzzle. Maybe that'll pop up later. I'm actually enjoying this. This is a this is a pretty fun game.
So we don't need to look at any more evidence. Now where is that other suspect? Okay, Liam Hurley, there we go. Please okay. escort this suspect for interrogation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are? And exactly what happened that you should be brought here? Hey, My Pound, how you doing, dude? It's Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. Yes, I've done my homework. Um, before I ask him these questions, let me uh, give him a look over here and see if there's anything that I can also deduce. Might help out with when I'm talking to him. Uh, I'm not seeing anything so far. Oh, there's a scar. Old scar. Oh, what's that? Handkerchief with a crest on it. Oh, wait, what's this? Plant remains. Hmm. I don't know, dude. Still one thing left. Wait. Gardener's hands. He might have been the gardener, actually. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Calm bullshit. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested Oops perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. You're the gardener, Foot douche. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That Ow. doesn't make me a murderer. Well, it doesn't make you a murderer, but it means you were there. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the gardener. I think he, he actually is the gardener there. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Yes. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, okay, you got me. I'm 12. I just yes, laughed at that. I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. Okay, so what'd you so hide? So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to go with the letter. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. <laughs> well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. 
Okay. All right. So now we're to Wood Woodsman's Lee. See uh, about the tools. Now it says here. Okay, investigate. We still have that. Seems not to be the usual side. Now Herlem Lee is the tough one. What is he trying to hide? Okay, so that's the new clue added to the mix. According to Hurtley's letter and by his own words, he did he did actually hide something at the spot where the garden tools are kept. He is a gardener there. And we have new information as well for character portraits. Oh, and by the way, Pound, thank you for following me. I appreciate it, man. Trying to get this new channel up and off the ground is it's not an easy thing. All right. So let's go to Woodman's Lee and see what we can find. Okay. So let's find this toolbox. Would it be in the shed here? Locked. Ooh. Locked. Okay, so this is locked. Let's talk to her if she can unlock it. All right, so let's first about Liam Hurtley and see if we get a reaction from her. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Hmm. Should I read so far into this that, like, if a character looks away, like, when they were making this game, did they think that, like, in-depth kind of thing? So if she's looking away, I'm automatically thinking she's a Madam, little guilty here. We have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Cool. Is the key All right. to open it. Why aren't you looking at me? Thank you, madam. Let's see what could be hidden here. Uh-oh. Got some camera issues going on. Ah, camera's freaking out on me. He's also moving around. Oh, shit ton. Oh, there we go. Is this a small wooden box that was taken, actually, uh, out of his room? Let us see what is in this box. Whoa. Okay. Wait. Uh, rotate all. Rotate. Okay. And... Switch. Oh, that doesn't seem... Ooh. Switch. There we go. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley hmm. and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. Uh -oh. That is interesting. So good to me all the time. I've known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. For what might happen if you're going against God. Thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell, but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. Oh, oh dear. All right. So we have this romantic correspondence between Liam Hurtley and Judith Carey. It was found inside the small wooden box hidden in the garden shed. Hmm. Do you think maybe uh, his wife and Hurley kind of like were together in on this? But then where does the boy fit in all this? Okay, what if I confront her about it? You'll have some explaining to do. You and Liam Hurtley, confess! Madam, I am aware of your affinity 
with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? You, him, bumping uglies. Wait, isn't Hurley's letter and the romantic correspondence the same thing? Maybe not. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after... what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Okay, me. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Maybe she didn't know, then. Yeah, maybe he did it all on his own. Mr. Holmes, we, we found go. the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. You shall get some gruel later on. Uh, okay, so... Ooh. He died a week ago. So... This man is a harpooner, and his yeah. initials are P.C. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. And he, the other one died a week ago. So, yeah, I'm good with that. I think that's solid. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Sometime we later. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? You're he fast. lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Strong Excellent. guy. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Pigs. Thank you, sir. All right. So we found the crew. We have a possible suspect. I mean, if the dude is arm wrestling and huge and a harpooner, that could put you know skewer man and then nail him to a wall. That's uh, very plausible. Okay, so cool. So as you can see in the top right-hand corner, uh, we can make a deduction now. So, uh, let's do Patrick Carnes. And no. Do those two make a connection? Really? The pouch belongs to Patrick Carnes and indicates his presence at the crime scene. But it must still be proven. I'm okay with that. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if since... I mean, I you guys have been probably... there's. I don't know if there's anybody when I first started playing this game. But interesting enough, uh, you can actually dress Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. It, it, it I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just kind of weird. I never thought I'd be dressing Sherlock Holmes. So we're trying to dress like a sailor. So let's 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 get in the mindset. Get in the mindset of a sailor. That's not a sailor. No, nope, not a sailor. Nope, not a sailor. That there looks like possibly maybe. I gotta keep him as is to wardrobe then. Casual suit, black suit, brown suit, green suit, gray, light, bandit, farmer, morning, sailor. We good game? You're not gonna freak out on me? Uh, Alright. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Too bad you don't have like a big, thick, bushy beard like I wanted to put on you, but I guess this will do. I wonder if I can make any more, uh, okay, so I can. Um, Liam Hurtley's letter, and let's say, actually, you know what, not Liam Hurtley's letter, let's say her confession, 
and her letter. Yeah, it is a possibility. Okay, cool. I feel good about that. So let's go over to the Sea Witch Pub. Alright. Okay, who do I need to talk to? That's Patrick Carnes. Tossing him back. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you hey, want? Cairns. Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. Well, Patrick Carnes' facial expressions to understand his moves. Push, restrain, and idle. Plan your counter strategy. Pay attention. Interesting. Okay, this is... This is a different kind of mini-game. Okay, so push to push, hold to restrain. at his... Okay, there we go. Looks all worried. Need to get stand on the back. Uh, hold, hold, hold. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. His look at his expression. He looks all worried. Get him back up there. Damn it. <laughs> I'm holding. Oh, I gotta get my stand on the back up. All right, push, 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 push. No. Here we go. No, no, no. Okay, now he looks all worried. God, this is weird. No, no, no. Anything over here? No. Okay, so let's. Patrick Ken. He's the harpoon. Do you believe he's the murderer? Not convinced. I'm not sold on it. Is there anything else that I can use together?